The story we're following for you tonight, all new at 11, people on Jacksonville's south side upset after flyers with messages of hate showed up in their neighborhood. All your size, Tristan Hardy spoke with some of the people living in the Osprey Point neighborhood, and he joins us live in the newsroom with more tonight. Tristan. Well, Anthony, neighbors found these flyers weighed down by rocks on their property over the weekend. Now, in this bag, racist messages against Jewish people and organizations that track hate groups say passing out flyers is a recruitment tool used daily. This plastic bag is filled with rocks and a flyer full of anti-Semitic language. It also provides a link to a neo-Nazi documentary. This is just, this is just raw racism. Rod Mason found one on his front yard on Sunday. I was pretty shocked that anybody would have the gall to put something like that on our property or in this neighborhood. And honestly, it makes it feel unsafe to even be here. Jenna Hood's called this Osprey Point neighborhood home for the past 21 years. She says she never would have thought something like this would happen. Uh, it's not welcome in any neighborhood, and honestly, I think that it's something that should be looked into for sure. If you ever come across flyers like this in your neighborhood, you're encouraged to report it to the police. You can also report it to the Anti-Defamation League. At last check, the Southern Poverty Law Center reported an increase of flyering in 2020. People should not allow this to happen in their neighborhood. And they should take a stop to it and definitely should do anything that they can to catch the people who are trying to do this. And people who live in the neighborhood say once they found the flyers on their property, they tossed them in the trash. In the newsroom, I'm Tristan Hardy. First Coast News on your side. Tristan, thank you.